Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and this is what we're going to make today. And this is just using a paper bag, just a plain paper bag like this. So I think that's just the regular lunch size. I will tell you the size in just a second when we get started. But I have used uh, Tina, one of Tina's kits, and I'll link it below. And then I have used uh, a part of our kit, which, let me, let me untwine this. This is from one of our kits that embrace that word. And then this is from our new kit that will go up today. And then I have just sewn around the edges and there is a little clutch purse. So we're going to teach you how to make these today because I know a lot of people are like me. They've got bags laying around everywhere and don't know what to do with all of them. You can make mini albums, but these are quick and easy and you can make lots of these for little gifts. They'll slide in your journal. You can slide these down in a journal pocket or attach them at the uh, seam up here. You can attach them into your signature, but they're quick and easy and it's a good way to use up some of those scraps and then some of your little lunch bags. And then here is one that I did using the paper collection from our July kit. This is the America the Beautiful. And I did this one using the paper collection. All I did different was on this right here, I just put my little button thing close to the top so that I could just put my lid under there. I used the little stars that come in the kit and then I just fussy cut these little balloons on each side. I made a little pocket here and I used one of the tags that's with the kit. It's in the paper collection. And that's all I did different. So it's made the same way as the other one is. So you can use pattern paper. And yes, I know this is six by six paper and this is longer, but what I did is I pieced it right here. You can't tell that, can you? I pieced it right there. And then I pieced right here on either end and made that look almost like a flag on top. So you can use a six by six paper. It doesn't have to be you know, it doesn't have to reach from one end to the other. You can piece it. I also pieced it on the back. And I think up close you can see, but far away you can't. And I may go ahead and put a little pocket all the way across here. Or part of the way across. Just lay a little pocket like that. If I'm not going to uh, use this in an album. If I'm going to use it in an album, I may not. But you could put a little pocket across here on the back. And that'd be cute too. But those are the little clutch I'm gonna call them clutches made from the paper collection and then from just some digitals they're made the same way they're using the paper bags these little paper bags so you're gonna start out with just a paper bag and this is just one of those lunch bags let me see what size it is for you so this one is five and a quarter and folded down it is ten and a half so it's I think this is a standard size I do believe and then the first thing that you're gonna do is open it up and there is gonna be some crinkling in this video so I'll just warn you now I know some people don't like to hear that but it's almost impossible to do this without doing a little bit of crinkling so you can just turn your volume down Alright, you're going to open it up and just fold those gussets out, not in, like that. And then flip it over to this side and do the same thing. Gussets go out. Then when you get right down to this part down here, you're going to kind of pull it out. Pull it straight across there. When you pull it out, it kind of folds its own line, and that's fine. Pull that out. Sometimes you might have to go back in there and do a little maneuvering. Because all of these bags are not created the same. Just want to kind of get all the wrinkles out if you can. It's not too important, but it just looks a little bit better when you have it smooth like that. Okay. And all I'm going to do is just take my bone folder and kind of reinforce all of these lines. I'm 
All right. So then you have that little thing that looks like a little mouth right there. <laughs> so first you want to take this and you want to fold it up. Leave that down. Just fold that up about right there. Let's see if that's about right. Yes. All right, so I'm folding mine up um, four inches. Or if you if your bag is not the same as mine, just fold it up until it's about at that little place where the bags go together right there. Just fold it up about right there. That way you've got just a little bit of the straight left here on each side. And you'll see why you need that in just a second. All right. Then this part comes down, not all the way to the, not all the way to this. You're going to leave a little bit of a gap in there and fold it about right there. No, I don't measure. I just look, look at it and see if it's about straight. And that looks about straight to me. So then we're going to reinforce that. So there you have your little clutch. Okay, that's the little clutch part. Now the first thing that you want to do, we've got our score lines in there. We want to glue this right here down. You want to glue that down really well because you're really not going to be using that for anything except it's just going to be for um, extra strength. I just put a good amount of glue there because you don't want it to come up. And then if you have any of the bag like this that's coming up, just go ahead and glue that back down. Okay. Now we fold that back down and reinforce it again since we put that glue in there. Now what we want it to do is start collaging this. I want to put some, you know, different papers here, but I'm going to let some of my brown paper show. So I'm just going to collage on here a little bit. And let's see what paper I want to use. I'm thinking about some of this for this part right here. And this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo. This is the, um, oh, I think it's Lavender Fields. I think that's the name of it. I'll link it below. And I'm tearing mine because I want that torn edge. But I don't want that big, wide part of the white right there. I just want a little bit. So I'm just going to tear that off. And let's see about how wide we need this. I like that will work. So if you don't want a big wide part when you tear, I pull toward me with this one. But then if you'll just run your finger along as you tear, then you won't get a big wide white part there. Okay. Now, see, this one has got the white and this one doesn't. I want both of mine to have white, so I'm going to pull back on this. I'm going to take just a little bit off and pull it toward me. Just so that I'll have that white to do the inking with. Because the inking on this looks much, much better. Let's see. Okay, I think that will work right there. So I'm going to go about to there, and I'm just going to tear that little piece off. And I'm going to need to tear it down just a little bit right here.
Let's go ahead and pull a little bit more of that end off and then we'll see. There we go. That looks pretty good right there. Yes. All right, now I'm going to ink mine up because I like the inking better on this. But there again, you don't have to. You can cover it with solid paper if you want to. You don't have to collage. I just like the collage looks on these. I think it's really pretty. All right. Let me make sure I get this right side up. There we go, like that. So that's how we're going to put that down. And I'm going to use my art glitter glue to put this down because I know it'll hold. But I'm just going to go right to the edges. You could put this down with PVA glue. You could put it down with Mod Podge. Um, you could put it down with a glue stick, I guess. Just whatever you use. I just like my art glitter glue when it comes to paper to paper because I know how well it holds. And I'm just going to go back and if I've got any little edges, I'm just going to make sure that those are glued down well. Okay. So that's our first piece. See, that already looks good. And now I'm just going to put more pieces on the sides here. And I'm probably going to come in with some of this, more of this purple from the lavender. Okay, so there's a piece right there. Turn this off just a little bit. Put a piece right there, and then we need a little bitty piece up here. Okay, I'm going to ink these up and then glue those down okay I think I will come in with that little piece right under that one so I'm gonna go ahead and ink it first Let's see what that will look like. Put that one there, that there. Yeah, that's gonna look good. So put this one down first. Okay, then I'll come back with some either little butterflies or different pieces in some of these areas. So that's all I'm going to do to that right there until I start putting the extras on there. I'm, right now I'm just going to get my big pieces down and then we'll come back and fill in. So now on this part we want that to be upright. So let's go ahead and put a piece down there. Let's see what I want to use there. That piece would be pretty across there, so let's just do that. I'm going to see about what size I need it. Okay, so 
So we're gonna, this one, we're gonna tear. I'm gonna pull on this with my left hand so that I can have that white on there. Okay. Then we'll tear the other one's tortoise. I think I want to put the yeah I'm gonna put the butterflies on the most part and then down here we'll stop it about right there so I'm gonna tear that toward me there we go tear that little bit of white off there Let's see if that works yes that looks good right there I'm gonna tear a little bit right here all right, we're gonna glue this piece down right here, across there. I'm just gonna let that be a whole piece instead of doing a lot of collaging, because to me it's already collaged. So I'm just gonna put that whole piece across there. Then we can always come back and put something on top of it. There we go. I have my granddaughter Brooklyn here with me. Brooklyn, you wanna say hi? You have to say it a little bit louder than that. They can't hear you. Hi. <laughs> Brooklyn, how old are you? Eight. Eight years old. She just turned eight years old. She just had a birthday. You can. She likes to craft with her nene, so she's out here crafting with me. She's going to be coloring some bunnies. Alright, so we have that on there. I think that's pretty. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to flip it over and collage the back before I go any further. But see, that's already pretty, isn't it? So, on the back, we need it upright like this. So, and I think I'm going to use the other piece of this. Let me look and see. And there's a pretty piece that's already got collaging done to it. That's pretty. I might use that. So it's already got a lot of different collaging done to it. And let's see what else we got. I like this, this one because it was kind of muted colors. What, oh, baby? hard to do, but I'm going to have to cover up those gray spots. Yeah, it, they'll cover up with paint. All right, we've inked around that, and we've torn that little piece out and inked around it. So now we're going to put that down right there. And see, so that's already collaged, so we didn't have to tear all the little papers and put them down. I don't do a lot of purple, so doing this is going to be a little bit different. I'll probably have to do a few more, but doing purple is a little bit different for me. Alright, we're going to put it down this way. Now my little flap's up here, so I'm making sure that I'm putting it down the right way. So it'll be right way up. See? Like that. And just make sure that you get all your little edges glued down well. I think right here looks like. Alright, so there is the back of that. Isn't that cute? And now you can go ahead and cover this part right here. And let's see what we want to cover that with. I may just use the other part of this. That'd be cute. Just 
tear some of that out and put it on there. Let's just do that. So we'll tear that right down through there. And then I'm going to tear it off about right there. I'm going to let it go down probably in under there a little bit. So I'm probably going to let it go down in there like that. And then when this comes up, it'll kind of cover it a little bit more, I think. No, maybe not. I'm going to tear this off and just put a strip in there. Because I do want some of that brown to show. So let's do it like that. And then I'm just going to, I just kind of put a little fold in it where I want to tear it. And then it just makes it easier to tear. Like that. And let's see. We'll go over here to this side and do the same thing. Put a little fold in there like that. Tear that. There we go. That looks cute. Now we'll glue this down. I want to ink it up and then glue it down. And see, Tina did all the hard work for us because she's already collaged it, so we don't have to do the collaging. If you've got just some plain paper and you want to collage and it's not already done like this, just tear up little pieces and put them down. You could do one of these with the book page. If you wanted to do that, that would look pretty too. All right, we're going to glue that down right there. Just like that. And then I'm just going to use my bone folder to run over it. Spread that glue out. Okay. Alright. When I fold, that is in my fold right there. So I'm going to tear that off. I don't like that to be down that low. And since I've already put my glue on there, it's not going to be too hard to tear off. I'll just have to ink it again. Didn't think about not coming past my fold. Alright, I'm just going to flip it up like this and put my ink back on there. Okay, so we've inked that up again, and then I'm just going to make sure that everything's glued down well. Alright, so that is the inside there. Now, you don't have to cover all this, because that's going to be on the inside of your little clutch bag. But now I'm going to take mine and sew it. I'm going to sew... I'm going to collage a little bit more right here. But I'm going to sew around the top right here first, and that'll strengthen that top. And then I'm going to sew down through here, sew my pockets together, across the bottom, up this side, and then back. That will be my stitching on there. But first off, I'm going to go right across here. Anytime you put sewing on that, it's going to strengthen that. And see, since that is a, a little open bag. Now, if you don't want to sew that, you could leave this, and that could be a little tuck pocket. You could do that too if you wanted to, but I'm going to sew mine closed because I don't want another tuck pocket. I just want the little clutch bag. So let me go and sew this and then we'll sew around through here and I will be right back. All right, we have our stitching done around this and it's nice and sturdy now and this top is nice and strong. And there's our pocket. We're going to put a little pocket right here on the front. And I think I might put it over here on this side because I don't want to cover up my butterflies. But I'm going to put a little pocket right there. And let me see what I want to use. I think I'm going to use this letter right here. And this is out of our new digital kit. And I will link it below. It's just today going up. So I think I'll use this. It's about the same color, and it's just got some vintage writing on it. I like that. So, 
So let's see. I do want to cut it down just a little bit. But I want to leave this top. So I think I'll just cut it down from the bottom. And then I'll save that piece and I'll use it for my little clusters. So that will work right there. I want to put a little pull in it. Just a little one. But I think I'll go ahead and cover the back first. So let's put... What do we want to put on the back? Let's just put a piece of tea dyed paper. Well, I call this tea dyed. This is not tea dyed. It's actually coffee dyed. And just ignore what's on the back of this. I printed on the back of some of my paper when I ran out of ink. I needed a little bit more printing done, so I just printed on the back. When I'm using it like this, it doesn't matter anyway. I may have to put two layers on here. This is a little bit thin because this is just a regular coffee dyed. Let's see if that'll be strong enough. Oh, that might be strong enough for a pocket. It feels pretty strong. All right. So I'm going to cut just a tiny little tab up here in the top, or a tiny little pull, about like that. Okay, then we'll ink around it so that it'll show up. You, don't, you want it to stand out so that they know that there's a pocket there. And then I'm going to stitch around it. And I'm just going to do a straight stitch around it to make it look like it's sewn on. When it really won't be, but it will make it look like that it is. So there we go. We've got some stitching around that. And then we're going to glue that down right there. That'll be a little nice little pocket. There we go. So we've got a pocket there. That'll close up like that. And let's see, I want to put just a little bit of something else up here. So let's see what we want to do. We might just bring that up here a little bit and put a little of this. And I'm just going to tear it the best I can. It's so tiny. And we'll bring a little bit of that writing at the top. that will do yeah that'll look good we'll put a little piece right there I'm gonna put a little piece over here and then I want a little piece right there so I'm gonna find one other thing something I'm just going to take another one of these. I printed that one out twice, so I thought I might want to use it a couple of different ways. So we're going to put another little piece of that right there. And I'm just going to ink them up. Now, in order to get this to um, be really strong and hold up, even for putting it in, in and out of your purse or something like that, you can put Mod Podge or Collage, collage Podge, something like that, on the outside of it. Um, I don't think for this one I'm going to, but for my next one I probably will because I'll probably be putting it in my purse and using it. But you can always reinforce it. You can even spray. I think there's a spray that um, protects it. 
seals everything in. You can use that too. Let's see, where was I going to put that? Right there. So you can do that and it will seal it up. Like I said, I may do that on the next one because I'm going to make quite a few of these. I think they'd be cute little gifts. And how inexpensive is this to use a paper bag to make your little clutch purses with? There we go. We've got that. Okay, let's see. I think I want another one right here and then another one up here somewhere and that'll give me my odd pieces. Maybe right there. And then another one right up in here somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to ink this one. And two, putting the, uh, I don't use Mod, Mod Podge, I use Collage Podge. Uh, I will link what I use below because it doesn't make your product, or your, it doesn't make your project sticky. So, putting your Collage Podge on top of this will seal everything in, plus it'll make it a lot stronger. And it seals all of these papers down so you don't have anything coming up. And you can also use these in your journals. Just um, put these, slide these in a pocket or just slide them in your journal like they are. Open it up, sew it in a signature. All right. Now I'm going to put a couple of little butterflies up here at the top to kind of bring these butterflies up. Okay, then I'm going to use one of our words that just says embrace, and this is off of our uh, vintage kit, I believe. I'll link it below. This is just some of the words that you get in that kit. I'm going to put that down right there. There we go, and... Now, I think I'm going to put a little eyelet in here to close this with. Put a string in it and put a little eyelet. So let me grab an eyelet and we'll put that in there. I think I'll just use that little eyelet. Looks good. I'm just going, going to see where my center is so that I can get it pretty well straight. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, well, I've got it sitting right where it needs to go. So I'm going to mark that. I'm just going to put it a little bit lower than that. Okay. Then we're going to set the eyelet. Make sure I got my thing on the right side. There we go. That worked well. So there is our eyelet. Now what do we want to close this up with? Mm -hmm. I could put a button down here, put a string through the eyelet, and then wrap it if we wanted to. Or I could just put a string through there and wrap it all the way around. I'm not sure which one I want to do. So let's see. I think I'll actually use this. This is some um, jute, I think. No, hemp. This is hemp. I don't know why I called it jute. I've got some jute twine up there, too. Okay. So we could tie it in here and then just pull it all the way around. 
and then do a little button there. That may be what I do. All right, so let me cut out some circles to put right there. Now, I don't want a very big circle. I don't want an inch circle. I think that'd be too big. I'm gonna try this one and see what it looks like. This is a very strong um, cardstock. Yeah, I think that's gonna be about the right size right there. So I'm gonna cut two of them and glue them together. This is an old Creative Memories punch. I don't even think they're in business anymore. But that's where I got that one. And I'll tell you what size it is. I think that's a three-quarter. Let me look. That is a three-quarter. So it's a three-quarter inch punch. Uh oh. I glued them together a little bit off. So we're going to try that again. There we go. And then we'll ink these up. And now I'm going to put this on with a little bread. Okay, would you believe out of all these breads and eyelets that I have laying around here, I can't find my brown ones, my Tim Holtz ones. They're around here somewhere. I just, I have hid them from myself. So I'm just going to use this little pale, it's pale yellow. It'll go with this collection. So I'm going to poke a little hole in there. And then we'll put this through. And then I'm going to figure out about where I want it. I think about right there. So then I'm going to put my little piece of foam down in there. And I will poke another hole. So we'll just do a little slip not in that like that and then we'll go around the little clutch bag and then we'll come back around that little button just like that and then I'm just going to clip these off a little bit and there it's our little clutch bag and you can go ahead and make a tag or something to go in this pocket I'll probably do that in a little bit but I'm gonna make a couple more of these before I stop on these for the day I just think they're super cute and then all you need to do is just take that off pull that from around and you can open it up you've got all kinds of room for all kinds of good things down in there all right Okay, guys, that is our video for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and we will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.